going to win an eighth national championship. Unbelievable. It's a wonder. Rebound off to Wesley, and it's over. Kentucky Wesleyan national champions. The Kentucky Wesleyan Panthers are national champions for an eighth time in the school's history. Nobody has ever done it before. Come your problems. Wesleyan has crafted its splendid basketball tradition through years of individual sacrifice, supreme effort, and refusing ever to give up. And with more than 1,300 wins in its storied 91-year history, it is the all-time winningest program in Division II basketball. In proud splendor, eight championship banners hang from the rafters of the Owensboro Sports Center. They represent both a reminder and a challenge a reminder of the glories of years gone by and the promise of glories to come. Hello everyone, I'm Reese Davis. Welcome to ESPNU's Honor Roll, where we're taking a comprehensive look at the history of college basketball. Today, we're counting down College Hoop's top 10 powerhouse programs of all time. We put together our list using the opinions of our ESPN experts and you, the fans who voted on ESPN.com. Permanence, the definition is the property of being able to exist for an indefinite duration. Permanence is the foundation of a powerhouse. Now great teams come along every year, but typically they fade in and out through time. A powerhouse is able to sustain success. A powerhouse rarely falls victim to the fickle nature of college hoops. To number nine now, and the passion for basketball in the Bluegrass State is not confined to the campuses at Kentucky and Louisville. With an enrollment of around 700 students, Division II Kentucky Wesleyan College has found a way to hoist the NCAA trophy eight times. Once you get a taste of winning the championship, you got to go for it again. There's nothing like it. When I first got here, I remember the first words Coach said is, uh, we're getting ready to win a championship. It wasn't trying to win the conference or make it to the regionals. It was win a championship. The Panthers are the champions in Division II college basketball. At Kentucky West End, when one year finishes and you start the next year, you're not into a rebuilding process. You just reload and win again. Our guys work as hard as the fellas at Duke or UCLA, the University of Kentucky, they're out there every game wanting to win not only every game, but to win a championship. That's what it's all about. Kentucky Wesleyan national champions for the eighth time. To be able to say you've had eight, there's a lot of pride there. And I don't care if it's Division I, Division II, Division 28. It's a huge, huge amount of pride. There's very few programs at the Division I level or the Division II level that can compete for a national championship every year, and, and Kentucky Wesleyan can do that. There will never be a point in your, time, in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you're waiting for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. It's that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. 
You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you. It may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal.